Flying can suck sometimes. You got the red eye flights, you got the overnight flights, you got the really, really long flights, you got the long layovers. None of this sounds appealing, right? And then they leave you sticky in some places, dry in other places, and just overall jet lagged when you finally arrive at your destination. After 15 years of travel experience, I have, I feel like mastered the art of feeling fresh when you finally arrive at your destination so you don't smell and look like a stinky gym bag. I want to thank Kleenex brand for sponsoring this video. They have recently come out with their Kleenex sensitive wet wipes, which I have added to our look and feel fresh when flying routine, which is going to start right now. First things first, you're going to want to bring a really good overnight face mask. Men, this is gonna work for you too because the one that I'm gonna recommend is clear, so you can't even tell that you're wearing one. I really like Origins Drink Up Intensive Face Mask. You can leave this on throughout your entire flight and then just wipe it off with a wet cloth once you arrive at your destination or just before you land, and it will keep your skin nice and moisturized because the air on an airplane is super, super dry. I like to get the bigger version of the Drink Up Intensive because I use it often, and then I just put a little bit into one of these containers that is under 100 milliliters so that I can take it with me on board with no problem. Kleenex wet wipes. I like to use these babies to clean myself, especially after I have a meal because I get dirty no matter what I'm eating, even if it's as simple as a banana. Yeah, I am an adult who eats like a child. I also like to use them to feel fresh. I take what I call a little in-flight shower using my wet wipes. Kleenex wet wipes are soft, they're thick, so they don't just like tear apart when you're using them, and they are great for sensitive skin, which I have, and they have no harsh chemicals. Use a flight drink. So these drinks are specifically to help you fight jet lag and make you feel refreshed and energetic when you get to your destination. They are packed with antioxidants and vitamins and electrolytes that help support your energy. I first discovered one of these drinks when I was flying home. Actually, I was flying from Fiji to France, and it was a very, very, very long journey with several layovers, and I discovered one of these drinks, and it really helped me keep hydrated, kept my energy levels up, so when I actually arrived in France, after like 30 plus hours of travel, I felt good, shockingly. There's also this product called No Jet Lag, and it is a homeopathic remedy, which is their tablets that you can take every couple of hours, and they essentially do the same type of thing, and they help you fight jet lag, so when you arrive at your destination, you're not feeling like destroyed. <laughs> Water. This is my favorite, favorite beverage of all time. Just take it, keeping it simple. Water. Mm. You're gonna to wanna to stay away from caffeine. So any caffeinated drinks, coffee, tea with caffeine when you're flying because it's gonna dehydrate you, it's gonna keep you up. It's gonna, if you're anxious when you're flying like I am, it's gonna make you a little bit more jittery and more anxious. So stick with the basics, simple water, as well as herbal teas like peppermint and green tea is actually okay. It's caffeinated, but it doesn't dehydrate you like caffeine. So if you still want that extra kick for when you arrive at your destination, move towards the green tea option. Peppermint tea is also excellent for inflammation, so it's gonna help you look good when you arrive at your destination. And also it's good for fresh breath, right? Peppermint. Mm. Plan your sleep. What I like to do is find out what time it is in the destination I'm flying to, and I set my watch or my phone to that time zone so I know when I need to sleep and when I need to stay awake on the flight. So let's say you're flying to Australia, and when you arrive in Australia, it's gonna be nighttime. So what you wanna do is get some rest at the beginning of your flight, and then stay awake for the rest of your flight. So that when you arrive in Australia, it will be easier for you to fall asleep because it will be nighttime in Australia. This is a really great technique when it comes to fighting jet lag because it will train your body a lot faster to get into the rhythm of the new time zone and the sleep changes. 
And when it comes to sleeping on a flight, it can be a little tricky. So bring things that are gonna help you relax and help you to doze off, like a neck pillow, an eye mask, earplugs, headphones with really relaxing music, melatonin, which is a natural sleep aid, anything that's gonna help you just unwind and fall asleep and stay asleep as long as possible. Keep your essentials on hand. I'm talking about toothbrush, dental floss, gum, deodorant, makeup, anything that's gonna help you feel and look good when you arrive at your destination. Also a tip I'd like to share, which I have learned over the years, is head to the washroom about an hour, 45 minutes to when you're gonna land, because if you do it any later, there's gonna be a lineup and you won't be able to take your time to refresh yourself because there's gonna be people waiting for you and you're gonna feel the pressure. Move around. When you are flying, it is important to move your body, stretch, do some yoga in the aisle. Who cares what people think? Move your legs, do a little dance, make a little love. Maybe not make a little love. Or maybe make a little love. It is important, especially when you have a long flight, to move around, to get that circulation flowing, to prevent blood clots and other things like muscle soreness and stiffness. and. Stretching is good, moving is good. Get up, walk around, walk up and down the aisles. If there's stairs in the plane, walk up and down the stairs. Just move your body. Moving your body, especially right before you're about to land, really gets that blood flow going, that circulation going, especially important on a long flight. And it will bring more energy into your body. So when you arrive at your destination, you're not feeling like sore, and your muscles are cramped, and you're feeling tired and sluggish. You have more energy. <laughs> Bring a change of clothes and a hat. Especially for me, the hat, because my hair tends to look a little funky when, when I arrive at a new place after a very long flight sometimes. So I like to have a hat, tame that hair, especially those bangs if you got them. Ladies, men, who have bangs, you know what I'm talking about. And a change of clothes, including underwear and bras, just so you feel nice and refreshed. Use those wet wipes and then put on these clothes it's like you took a shower. In-flight shower, that's how it works. I am such a snack person. I love snacks and I need to have so many snacks when I'm on a, on a flight. Like it makes me feel a lot more calm. If I don't have snacks, I panic. I like to bring healthy snacks, which I prepare at home. So nuts are really great, fruits, crackers, things that are healthy are gonna keep you full. They're gonna give you energy. These are the things that I like to bring and I find it's hard to find them in airports. You might get a little luckier, but when you're on the flight, the food that they serve isn't typically the best. It's a lot of fat and tons of carbs, which is not gonna make you feel good when you arrive at your destination. And it's not gonna make your stomach and your bowel movements uh, as good as they can be. One thing to mention though, when it comes to nuts and fruit, you do have to declare them if you don't finish them when you get to a destination most likely. So make sure you do finish them. And another thing is bring containers because you can use these containers when you're traveling for leftovers or if you wanna bring a meal on the go. Containers, they're great and they're eco-friendly. Rose water, spritz on some of that rose water. I'm gonna do it right now actually. Oh, makes you feel so refreshed. It smells amazing, keeps your skin hydrated, and you can spray it over your makeup and it leaves it fine. I love rose water. I have a big bottle, so I like to put it into a smaller bottle so I can bring it with me on flight. Anything that's under 100 milliliters keeps you safe. Security will let you go right through. Bonus tip, because who doesn't love a bonus tip? Use airport lounges. Take advantage of those airport lounges if you have layovers. They are so good. I cannot believe I didn't start using them earlier. I just recently started using them the last couple of years. But what a game changer. They have showers. There's sometimes even sleeping areas. There's buffets. There's drinks. It's just a really nice place to unwind a little bit, recharge, rest if you need to. Please do yourself a favor and take advantage of those airport lounges. And these are the ways that C and I stay fresh and energized so that when we arrive at our destination, we're feeling good and ready to explore. 
and hopefully now you feel a little bit better about that long flight you have ahead of you you're not dreading it anymore and you enjoy this part of the journey as much as actually arriving at your destination it doesn't have to be something that you are dreading I want to thank Kleenex brand for sponsoring this video again and for keeping us so fresh and so clean, clean. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box below so you can go and get your own pack to use on your next flight.